As part of efforts to mitigate post-election violence crisis and ensure peaceful transition of government leadership, stakeholders have called on religious leaders to educate their followers. At a one-day peace stakeholders conference with theme The Role of Faith Leaders in Dowsing Post-Election Tension, the country director of Global Peace Foundation Nigeria, C, uh, GPFN, Reverend Joseph Hayab, said it was important that those aggrieved over the outcome of the elections seek redress in court. Plus TV News correspondent Habila Derufai filed in this report. Over the years, Kaduna State has had its fair share of violence leading to loss of lives and properties of citizens. It is against this backdrop that stakeholders gathered to speak against further violence emanating from the results of the elections. Religious leaders are told to take prompt action against negative statements able to incite chaos. Nobody stops inauguration of any government or any election that has been announced by INEC according to our laws. So we are simply saying that religious leaders must not make statements that will cause tension. What we simply want is those who have gone to court should pursue their issues in court and if the court rules favorably, good. Those who have been announced as winners at the moment should also be allowed to be inaugurated so that we continue. This country must move on. We will respect the rules. We will also promote peace. I'm calling on the government to ensure that any person in this country who uses a religion for campaigning, such a person should be brought to book. We should bear in mind always that we don't have any other country than Nigeria. Therefore, we should do all that we can to ensure that the country is safe, the country is united, and the country is peaceful. They fight, but they fight academically. That's right. Uh -huh. So, but we here, we carry the sword and kill ourselves. And if someone will say, where are their children when we kill ourselves? So what we have, I'm told, the mediation committee here, we have a lot of things to do. It's not to instigate quarrel, it's not to instigate people to kill themselves. But what we will still be doing is that, how can we live in peace? Other religious leaders laud the efforts at sensitizing Nigerians at a time when the country is grappling with ethnic and religious tensions, heightened before the elections. The peaceful coexistence of Nigeria should be our collective project. It should be our collective project because all of us are critical stakeholders in this nation building. Effort, your effort will take Nigeria to where it should be. But where sentiments and negativity is allowed to come to play, it certainly affects all of us. Talking is very important. And I think that's what we did before this election. We talked to various groups, attend so many meetings, and then people are able to understand. Why should I kill myself? There will never be any progress, any work without peace. So please, let's take it upon self. Let's do it before God. If you say you don't do it, you are so selfish, you want to satisfy yourself, it will not work. The consensus is to continue to raise their voices against disunity and incisive statements as the country transits into another government. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.